Good morning. Welcome back to Sarah's Joyful Journey. I'm Sarah Joy. Today is day 22 of my carnivore-ish journey. I'm exhausted. Um, I don't feel like I'm any better today, but I don't feel, I guess I don't feel worse, which is pretty good. Um, it is about 8.30 in the morning. I am not hungry, but we are going to take the puppies up to the dog park mostly so ghosts can run around and just be chill because he's been a little bit of a jerk this morning with lots of energy so we got to go burn some of that but i am wearing my new shirt which i really like this one it um it says each print tells a different story each one makes a mark so i do like the thumbprint or a fingerprint as a symbol for autism it's one of the newer ones there's several um, I personally don't uh, identify with the puzzle piece or the infinity symbol. They just don't quite cover it for me. Um, but I like this one because we all have thumbprints and each and fingerprints and all of our fingerprints are unique and they still mark us as um, we're still human. So um, I, I do like that symbol. I should have gotten a large instead of an extra large, but it's okay, it's roomy and it's cozy. But we're gonna go take the dogs up to the park and then I will check back in when I eat. I think I'm gonna make a big old thing of water um, to take with me and we're gonna go get that done. All right, it is 3.30 and I'm finally getting around to eating. I've been asleep most of the day. I actually feel worse today, not better, but I do want to at least eat something. So I made a protein scramble bowl with bacon uh, the steakums, I used some sausage patties and broke them up in eggs and I'm going to top it with some hot sauce and that is going to be my meal on day 22. Good morning and welcome back. I'm Sarah Joy. Today is going to be day 23. I am feeling better yesterday. Today, Yesterday I was feeling worse. Um, I think I might have a sinus infection. So I am considering going to urgent care, but right now my husband has the car, so I'm here. I am taking severe cold medication on time every four hours, and I'm getting lots of sleep. And so far, that seems to be helping. It is about, a, it's almost 11.30. And I got up at five and went back to bed, woke up at seven, took some medicine, drank some water, went back to bed, and I'm just now getting up. So, since I have some things that I need to do, I am going, and I'm hungry. I woke up hungry, so that tells me that I'm getting better. But I just don't want to cook because I'm still feeling kind of like tired. So, I am going to have a keto chow core shake, and that will be perfect. I'll probably end up having another one in a couple hours. And then my sweet husband went and got me some sparkling apple cherry Celsius last night. I haven't had a Celsius in days, so I'm gonna go ahead and get one of those and take some more medication and try and get some things done around the house because I am meeting with some friends tonight for dinner and I really want to go, but I'm playing it by ear. If I like really feel like I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm, I won't go, but I'm excited. So hopefully this will help. Hopefully I will start getting better. Um, it's just, being sick is just not fun. All right, it is about two o'clock. It's almost two o'clock. I just got done a little bit ago with a video visit for some, um, a doctor's video visit. She's giving me some antibiotics. I can't pick them up until tomorrow because the pharmacy I use is closed today. Um, but that will help. She is labeling it a sinus infection, which is what I pretty much assumed anyway at this point, because all my congestion is like right in here and I can feel it up into my ear. It's not so much in my nose. Um, so yeah, so I will have some antibiotics tomorrow and that will help. I am can tell I'm starting to feel a bit better with even just the rest and everything because I'm getting ready to eat meal number two and I'm hungry. It's not gonna be a giant meal. I'm not super hungry, but I am feeling a little hungry. So I'm gonna have something. I'm gonna show you what I am going to have. And then I have dinner with a friend tonight with a couple friends. I don't know if I'm gonna do any videoing. We'll see how it goes, but so far so good. And I should be getting much, much better in the next few days. All right, let me show you what I'm gonna eat. 
All right, so I have some of these Tyson blackened chicken strips. I've just like microwaved like three of them and I'm going to have a lemon cello water. I really wanna dip these in like sour cream or something, but I am not going to do that. Uh, one, because I'm trying to avoid dairy, which she did tell me I should eat some yogurt while I'm on the antibiotics. So I might pick some up, we'll see. Um, but I don't want the extra inflammation of slim creation and all that kind of stuff. So I am being good and not dipping them in anything. And that's going to be my lunch today. Well, I finished the chicken and I was still hungry. So I made a creamy. This is a regular keto chow creamy because that's what was in the freezer and it sounds good and refreshing. It happens to be butterscotch, which I'm super excited about. So I'm gonna eat this and then that will conclude my meal number two. Well, it's like 8.15 right now. We just got back from my friend Nancy's house. We had dinner with her and her husband and then Hope and Andy from Mission Keto. So we had a fabulous time. And then I stopped and I got some stuff to uh, make some yogurt. Um, dinner tonight, I will show you. And it was amazing and delicious. And I did, I had veggies tonight there. That's what was available, it was good. I had some dairy tonight. It was also good. Um, so one thing that I want to talk about for just a moment is even though I am on a carnivore-ish journey and I'm figuring out what works best for my body, I also remember to be flexible and that it's not a hard and fast rule. Like tonight, I got invited out to dinner and it was such a huge blessing not to actually have to cook food. So I got to enjoy carnivore chicken nuggets. We had stuffed peppers. We, there was salad and deviled eggs and everything was amazing. And I had some of everything. They even had cookies and I did have one cookie. Um, but you know, it's keeping it in moderation and it works on my journey normally. And when I go out for special occasions like that, I just enjoy the time with my friends and enjoy the food. And then tomorrow I'll be right back on track. Now, the next 10 days are gonna look a little different. I'm still going to be carnivore-ish, but I am adding in for the sake of the fact that I'm on antibiotics, I am gonna be making some yogurt in tomorrow's meal prep. Uh, because my doctor uh, the, or the doctor I saw today wants me to take that along with my antibiotics, which are pretty heavy duty for my sinus infection. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm gonna make some yogurt tomorrow and we're gonna have a little bit of that for the next 10 days. And then I'm gonna go back dairy free. Um, I'm sure I'll have some extra information, but it is what it is. So let me show you what we had for dinner right here. And I have a tiny grocery haul for you that I'm going to show you. We went to Publix on the way home to get the stuff for yogurt, and then I found a couple other things. So let's show you what I got. All right, so to make yogurt, I am going to be using Fairlife milk, and I like the, the one that has extra cream in it. And well, since I'm sick and I'm making myself yogurt, I'm gonna make it the way that I like it. Um, and I'm only gonna be eating a little bit a day probably about the size of one of these Faye cups. Um, I only need one to make the yogurt, but this will, it takes like 12 hours to make yogurt. So then they were on sale three for five. So I just bought three. I'll eat one tomorrow with my breakfast um, because I do have to take my antibiotics three times a day, which means for the next 10 days, I am eating three times a day. All right, we'll see if Ghost is not wanting to be quiet. So he wants to say hi. Yeah, he's being very talky. This is what happens when I leave. <laughs> but anyway, I went ahead and I did get some real good uh, chicken because uh, they were on sale. They were uh, like $4 off or something like that. So I went ahead and I picked up General So's chicken and Korean barbecue chicken. Um, I don't know when I'll have them. And they look pretty clean on the back. They're a little more carby than I would like, but for a quick night, every once in a while, if you need to pinch, we're gonna give them a try and see how they go. Well, there you have my quick and ease, my quick trip to Publix. Um, I'll come back tomorrow with a meal prep video. Not that we're gonna be prepping a whole lot, but 
it is what it is. And this is going to wrap up day 23 of my carnivore-ish journey out of 90. Uh, so next week, going into next week, we'll have a video on Monday, we'll have a video on Tuesday, and then I'll probably combine some other days into some videos because I need to go back to work on Wednesday since I've missed a lot of work. If I want to um, eat, I definitely need to get a paycheck. Well, I'm going to call it a night on this video. I hope that you'd enjoy it. Please hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below if you wish. And then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so every time I attempt to do a carnivorous journey while being sick, you'll be alerted to it. Bye for now.